My name's Ezzy. That's short for Esmeralda. When I was younger, I got cut from a school for hunting feral hawks. They said I wasn't mean enough. Psh, I'm a mother f***ing G. Anyways, now I've got a new human. I don't know his name, but it's not that important. What you do need to know about this guy, and all my uncles and aunties, is that they're really into climbing. Sometimes they go to what they call a climbing gym. It's kind of weird. They painted the rocks a bunch of random neon colors. I think it's some sort of psychedelic thing or something. Whatever. It's not my favorite place because I have to wait in the van. However, sometimes I get to go on the outside trips. But fuck yeah, going outside is so dope. Here's the deal though. They told me to tell you about some stuff that I had to learn before I could get invited along. It seems I'm an authority on... <clears throat> What's a good quality in a uh, crack dog, Ezzy? Lowering impact. I'm a dog, and this is a gym to crag public service announcement. Assuming that you're not a complete idiot, you know not to litter. However, you might not realize that spilled chalk is litter. I'll take that apple core, though. Meet Margo. She's got a poo fetish. That's right. If you don't deal with your poo, weirdos like Margo will find it and roll in it. So listen up. Shit in a wag bag and carry it out. Oh yeah. Guess who's guilty by association and gets a bath too? Yeah, Margo. I thought we were friends. <sighs> my life. Sometimes I hear you talk about leave no trace, but you all should own the fact that you leave quite the trace in heavily used areas. Chalk has been accepted as a necessary aid, but to a non-climber, routes with massively chalked holds just look like graffiti. Pop quiz time. What's the shortest distance between two points? The trail. Take the time to find it and stay on it. Here's a good one. Fixed gear, like bolts. It's been showing up more and more as climbing becomes more popular. Recognize that if you don't keep yourselves in check with this, you'll draw the attention of those really nice people in uniforms who don't want me chasing wildlife. Fixed gear varies from place to place, and I've seen some pretty good arguments at the guidehouse about bolts. I had it and there's like five or six like bolt scars. So people fun. knew it was an atrocity back when it was put an up. Atrocity. It's not about me, it's about making sure that everyone can get to it. You know, right, here, hold my hand, let's sing Kumbaya. Just because somebody was first means that for the rest of eternity that they get, they get to, decide to decide what kind of protection's on the route. Yeah, that's kind of silly. Yeah, man, don't oh. f***ing clip the just bolts. Just, clip just the do bolts. it on gear. Uh-oh, uh-oh. My name is Ezzy, and this is the end of my PSA. There's a handful of really good mentors out there, and you're really lucky if you have one. For the rest of you cheap f hire a guide for a day. You'll probably learn a lot more than just how to fit in a bag, even though that's really important. And I happen to know just the people you should talk to.